Hello friends, welcome to my channel Plant Pathology Parsala. I am Jumishri Meher, PhD scholar from Banaras Hindu University. This is the fourth part of frequently asked plant pathology questions in ICER JRF or SRF, ASRB NET and other pre-PG exams. So let's discuss today's questions. So the first question is, causal agent of red rot of sugarcane is? So the answer is D. Colletotrichum falcatum. The Ceratocystis paradoxa we have already discussed. It causes the pineapple disease of sugarcane. Then Colletotrichum gliosporus. This is causing the anthracnosa of mango. Then this Helminthosporium species, it causing the spots. Okay, Helminthosporium oryzae that is causing the brown spot of rice. Let's discuss some facts about red rot of sugarcane. It is caused by the pathogen Colletotrichum falcatum. Its perfect stage is Glomerula tucumanensis. It was first reported from Jabha by Went, W-E-N-T, Went, in 1893. It is widely distributed all over the sugarcane growing countries. Main symptom is when the affected cane split open, the inner region is reddish in color. Okay, because of this reddish color, this disease is called as red rot of sugarcane. And the management is generally the set treatment. Either hot water dipping of set can be done or by the application of different chemicals that is Carbonazim, Venomil or Topsin. Okay, so this is all about the red rot of sugarcane. Next question is, Bordex mixture was discovered by? So the answer is, Miller date A. Okay, that is the PMA Miller date. Pierre Mary Alexis Miller date in 1882. It is discovered accidentally, okay. He was a botany professor. He prepared this mixture to control the downy mildew disease of grape vine. And this bordex mixture is prepared in a region that is the bordex region. That's why it is named as bordex mixture. Many times students are getting confused that when this mixture was prepared. But this mixture was first developed in 1882 and this research was published in 1885. This was the first fungicide being used in a larger scale. Its main composition is copper sulfate, lime and water. Okay, which is effective against powdery mildew, downy mildew, potato blight. Apple scab and other fungus. This is a broad spe uh, spectrum fungicide. It is also helpful to control bacterial diseases also. Okay. And in France, this mixture is also known as Miller Date David. Okay. Miller Date David treatment. So this is all about the Bordex mixture. Next question is why rust of crucifer is caused by so the answer is D. Albugo candida. This is a oomycetous fungi in order perinosporales. This is not considered as true rust because it does not produce basidia or basidiospore. Next about the symptom of rust, white rust of crucifer. It produces white blisters or postules like growth on the underside of the leaf okay so this is the white color postures but in case of rust the postures are of generally reddish color reddish brownish color okay next question is which of the disease caused acid back to the indian export so the answer is b canal bend this is a very important disease of wheat and this causes heavy loss. This is also known as cancer of wheat. This is first discovered by Mitra in 1931 in Karnal, Haryana. Then about the symptom, 
Some grains in the spike are partially or wholly converted into black powdery masses. This is the main symptom of the canal bunt. This fungus is both soil and seed borne in nature whereas the secondary spread occur through the air borne conidia. So this is all about the canal bunt of wheat. Next question is loose mud of wheat is a So the answer is A. Internally seed borne disease. Okay, this infect the seed endosperm and it becomes the internally seed borne disease. Next question is powdery mildew fungi produce. So the answer is C. Clastothesia. These are different fruiting body or ascostromata produced by this ascomycetes fungi. Okay, powdery mildew is a ascomycetes fungi. So, this clastothesium is a closed structure inside which the ascospores are formed in the SI. Okay, whereas this perithesium is a flask shaped structure and in the top one opening is there. Okay. But the apothecium is a flask a cup shaped structure which is open. Whereas this ascostromata, the stroma will convert it into the fruiting body. Whole the stroma will convert to the fruiting body and the SI will be formed inside the locules that is called as the ascostromata. So these four are different type of asco, different fruiting body of the ascomycetes fungi. The next question is, in Tafrina deformans, ascospores produce on? So the answer is D, naked SI. The Tafrina deformans, this is the causal organism of peach leaf curl. The main characteristic symptom of this disease is downward and inward curling of leaves. This fungus, Tafrina deformans, lacks any type of fruiting body or the ascocarp. So, the ascospores are produced on the naked SI. SI are formed directly from the binucleate ascogenous cell. Okay, there will be no formation of any type of ascocarp. The next question is, metal axil is a dax group of fungicide. So the answer is B. Phenyl amide. This metal axil is a systemic fungicide of phenyl amide group. This can be used both as protective or a curative one. This is the best fungicide against oomycetes fungus that is Pethium, Phytophthora and different downy mildew fungus. This is systemic in nature because it quite soluble in water and it will translocate it into the different parts of the plant. Then its mode of action is inhibition of transcriptional process that is it partially inhibit the RNA synthesis and it also inhibit the protein and nucleic acid synthesis. Then it is available in different trade names like Redomil, Apron, Subdue, Turk. Okay, so this is all about the metal axle. The next question is green ear disease in pearl millet is caused by. So the answer is Sclerospora graminicola. Which of the following is a biocontrol agent? So the answer is D. All. This are the biocontrol agent means living organism that is used to control diseases. That may be a trichoderma, this is a fungus, bacillus thuringiensis, this is a bacteria and pseudomonas, this is also a bacteria. It can act either by competition that is competing with the pathogen for different nutrient or space or maybe by production of different chemicals like antibiotics 
or by the mycoparasitism or hypoparasitism. So these are some mode of action of biocontrol agent. The next question is little lip of brinjal is caused by. So the answer is B mycoplasma. Then let's discuss something about the little lip of brinjal. The main symptom of this disease is shortening of petiole and production of small size leaves. Because of this, this is called as little leaf of brinjal. This is called caused by if mycoplasma. Previously it was called as mycoplasma but now it is called as phytoplasma. This is transmitted by insect vector that is Hissimonas physitis. That is a leaf hopper. Please remember this leaf hopper that is Hissimonas physitis. The next question is Cate disease of cardamom is transmitted by So the answer is a. Banana affair. That is the scientific name is Pentalonia caladi. This cate disease is a very important destructive disease of cadmium. This is also known as marble or mosaic disease that is caused by a virus that is the cadmium mosaic virus. So cate disease is a viral disease that is caused by a cardamom mosaic virus. In this, the young leaves show characteristic mosaic symptom with chlorotic and green strips. Okay. So this is about the cate disease of cardamom. Next question is, the first person to start the scientific investigation on plant viruses. So the answer is A. Adolf Meyer. He was the first scientist who studied on the virus that is tobacco mosaic virus. Okay. This mosaic term was given by Adolf Meyer. The next question is vector transmission of viral disease is first discovered by So the answer is C. Hisimoto. So, he first discovered the vector transmission. Adult male, I have already discussed, he first started the, the study of viral diseases that is the tobacco mosaic virus. So, this is the end of this video. I think now you are familiar with so many terms. So, if you found this video useful for you, please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.